tone. <laughs> and, oh, yep, there's a fish. Last time I spent 30 days surviving in the Canadian Rockies, but now... Effective this Thursday morning, I am ordering all Maine people to stay at home. So this is the 30-day survival challenge, Maine Lockdown. That'll cook up good. Hunting fever. Ooh, get that up. We got a keeper. Three, we got three. <clears throat> Down here on Seven Tree, gonna try something different this time. Got myself a cane pole. It was just like $7.99, $8.79, sorry. And uh, <laughs> it's a three piece cane pole with just a straight line off the end. The perch I've been running in the river over here. The girls and I were over here the other day. I'll show you a clip at the end of uh, our catches that night. And, uh, and we cooked some up and the girls wanted to do something really cool with it. So you can see that at the end. I'm gonna try the cane pole out and uh, a little primitive uh, cane pole fish in here. Since most of them are catchable right from like six feet away at the very most, this cane pole will be more than enough and a lot simpler than having to cast and then reel and then catch them just five feet off the shore every time anyway. And uh, be able to store some of those up for food and using the remains in my lobster traps, trading up for lobster. Hopefully they're still in here running. They might be uh, coming in right at dusk if they're not already here. I don't see any sign of little splashes. Oh, there they are. Ooh, a lot of them. Oh, better get rigged up. I feel a little bit like, like Huck Finn or something, you know? Got my cane pole, I'm down at the river. Gonna catch me some fish. Nothing but a line and a pole and a fishing hole. <laughs> this is a neat little rig for eight bucks. Like this is so cool. It's just, the little wicket here with a, I think that's what you would call it, a wicket bobber. Perfect size hook, that's a really tiny hook. And three piece pole. This is cool. <laughs> I wanna grow some bamboo in my backyard one of these days so like, um, so I could just go out and snip a piece that bamboo that I had in Patagonia which is technically actually a grass because it wasn't hollow um, I can't remember what kind of bamboo this is this is the kind that has that flat side on one side and that's a there's some special name for it as opposed to ones that were cylindrical all the way around it seems to be about the same length as the pole catch something lift the pole straight up out comes your fish. There we go. Simple fisherman's knot, tied it right to the end. And I'll set my bobber about a foot and a half back. I got some crawlers. And I think I'm gonna go with the trout worms though. Smaller, easier to Put a half a worm on. I have been waiting for this sort of thing for a long time. Uh, not just this, but like the fish coming in from the deeper part of the uh, lake. Uh, I got another special little Japanese pole. There's this thing called, um, I'll put it right here. And it's for fishing for tiny fish on purpose. And so, I bought this special tiny Japanese pole with these tiny hooks that are like, so they're smaller than 
tip of your pinky fingernail and I'm cut and bent into a hook like half the size of that I want to try and catch like the smallest minnow the girls actually started me on this idea because last year they're like we need a small hook to catch these minnows that were like like uh, like three quarters of an inch long and I'm like that's that's not gonna happen on this hook you know they had a hook like this with a half a night crawler on it and they're catching bluegills and uh, so I found these little little fishing style that the Japanese do and so I bought the pole now that the fish are coming in and some are you know doing their thing and spawning in the brush up close bass are getting ready to start coming in and find their beds you know and making beds and uh, bluegills and the perch will be in and easier to fish from the shore and and uh, like tonight the white perch running up the river let's talk in more fishing though see if we can't get on some that could be covert I'm gonna hide down behind the rock here and get her in there I think I'm gonna shorten it up that's a bit long Big one. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Nope. Didn't even hurt the worm. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous white perch. Oh, what a beautiful fish. And that's a great one. That's a great size either. Some of the ones we caught the other day were smaller, but this is like, uh, eight of these will feed three people easily. Four people. Four people even. They fed me, well, okay, me and two of the girls, but they were so hungry because we didn't finish till 9.30. So it fed three of us pretty well. All right, let's get some more. And, oh, yep, there's a fish. I wake up in the morning in this great blue state Golden fingers caress my face Slips through the window on a silky breeze A dreamer's life to plant some seed I don't know why I have two tubs of worms when I've got three on one half of a worm. Oh, what a feeling just watching that bobber start tapping out a message of I'm being nibbled on. And then, and fish. <laughs> right into the basket. That was funny. <laughs> that was a boat flip for you. Hey. Nice, huh? <laughs>
doubt. Put my audio book on when I got home, went to town on cleaning these. I ended up bringing over 20 of these home. 16 or so were the ones that I had caught myself. And I had run into some nice young men that were down there that only wanted to bring home two of their biggest ones each or something. And so they ended up giving me about five or six of theirs. And I went to town on these with the Swiss Army knife. It's a paring knife. It's like seven bucks. And I love this thing. I've had it forever. It stays fairly sharp, and it does a great job on small fish like this. I used the fillet knife the day before, and it was too it was too big, too flexible, and for these smaller pan fish, it seems to work really, really well, and it does a great job on them. It took about 45 minutes to fillet up all the fish. The amount of remains I have left will be enough to do one really good run of lobstering, baiting all five of my traps and trading those fish for lobsters. The amount of fillets that I got from the fish is enough to do three good solid family meals with just me and the girls. I'm going to throw those in the freezer because we've been eating a lot of fish lately, so stay tuned for a little bonus catch and cook with the girls. Oh, fish on! No, and it's not a, There aren't ass out here. The, oh, you got, you got one on your pole too! Reel it in. Oh. Can you hold my kitty? All right. I'll hold your kitty. So she doesn't get All right. yet. Oh, he got off. Okay, we put another one out. Fish on. Yee-hoo. Oh, they're little feisty little things. Fish on. <laughs> oh, there's nothing quite like even... Just catching a whole bunch of fish in a row. <laughs> fish on. Oh, fish on, a sparrow. Whoa! Come on, nice big one. Man, you got a slab on your pole. I got to use yours. I got to use the, the uh, frozen uh, pole here. Cat the big one. Flip it, flip it around. <laughs> you switch hands? You're Big one. Yeah, you got another big one. Oh, yikes. This one's a bass. No, it's not a bass. It's another perch. Hold on, he's stuck in the le uh, grasses. All right. I'll land him. Good job. You catch all the big ones. The big ones must be feeding off the bottom. Is it catched in his eyeball? No, it's just down his throat. I don't want to touch its eyeball. You want to touch its eyeball? <laughs> you know, if you eat its eyeball, you can see it underwater. What? Yeah, you want me to try? You want me to cut it out so you can eat its eyeball? Is it gonna taste bad? Uh, it's an eyeball, so it's not gonna taste great. Uh, when we get home, I want to eat its eyeball. When we get home, you'll eat its eyeball. All right, deal. About fishes, like. It's ready. The final done. Whoa. <laughs> our eyeballs are stuck. I'm not gonna eat an eyeball. They're all fried up. They're gonna be super delicious. I'm gonna eat one with you. We're all gonna eat one together. And then we'll be able to see underwater like a family of fishes. Hands. Say, say grace for second dinner. Lord, thank you for a second dinner of fish and that we triumphed with a nice little pile of fish here. Bless this food to our body. In Jesus' name, amen. Wait, we got to eat in a pile? Go team. Mm, where's the adobo? I want Try it without the adobo first. See what, let me know what you mm. think. It's just all buttery and good. Mm. I'm going to try it. You gonna try the eyeball? No, do not put your gum behind your ear. That's disgusting. Give me your gum. 
When it comes out of your mouth, it goes in the garbage. That was gross. Do you really do that? You keep your gum behind your ear? They're saving it. That's disgusting. You know when you're a teenager, like, gross hormone and smelliness comes out from behind your ear and you're like, ugh, ugh. I don't know if I can eat anymore. All right, go ahead. Eat the, eat the eyeball. Let's see what do you think. You can, you can do it. Eat it, eat it. Just do it. I'll do it with you. Look. Alright, I got an eyeball. You want one too, Sparrow? We'll do it as a family. I Fa can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Family eyeball. Oh, I can already... Ooh, that tastes actually really good. That's almost better than the other parts of the fish. What? I haven't even tasted it. It just tastes salty. This is yeah. really weird. Will you eat an eyeball if I put adobo on it? Of course I'll eat adobo. Adobo, adobo. Alright, there you go. I'm a more of adobo. It doesn't matter, fish, or it's not daddy, just... Daddy, 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 I want... It's not that bad. <laughs> you didn't spit it out. <laughs> yum, 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 I don't want some. You want an eyeball? No. Everybody else did it. <laughs> Peer pressure. You'll be able to see underwater. I can't see this pressure. Go Sparrow, go Sparrow, go! <laughs> Go, go, go. All right. Yes. You did it. High five, guys. It tastes like a wad and egg. It tastes like a rat. Here, high fives. High fives. We all. It tastes like a wad and egg. We all get to level up one more level in the fish being able to see underwater. Well, that's it for the night. Uh, I'm going to tuck these guys in, read to them, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Fowler's out. Fowler's out. <laughs> Daddy. What? Are we, are we really going to go to bed right now? It's 10 o'clock at night. You better believe you're going to bed. I didn't know it's 10 o'clock. My little fisher girl.